Hello my dear viewers! Another video on this wonderful gem, Jetborn Racing. Very much underappreciated. Go check it out, go buy it. Uh, this time I'm doing two things, trying out the uh, ability to record two videos at the same time, two windows at the same time, like secondary monitor has what you see in the big screen, the, re the, the external camera replay, or this right now it's camcorder setting, and this tiny screen is my primary screen, so let's try that out, see how that works. Also, I'm trying out my, you can't see it because I don't, don't have my uh, webcam on, my Protaz VR, uh, basically rubber pad that my MacTube controller sticks in. So let's see how that goes. Go. The one thing is, this is one of those advanced tracks. I need to be pretty. I need to concentrate pretty well to get through here without crashing too much. And yeah, one thing about the the Protaz is uh, how good it is to use is very much dependent on the chair you're using. I mean, you, I guess you can stick it on your desk, but that doesn't doesn't seem to be ideal. But you. So you need an armrest, and uh, sadly my office chair broke. So uh, my last one had a really good armrest where where uh, it mounted in a very natural position, and the replacement office chair I got has different armrests, and it's in not not that great a position. And I need to you know uh, cheat the the seat recenter a bit to get it working comfortably so so your your opinion of the protest stick might actually vary a lot by uh, which chair you're using it with but factoring out the chair it's a really great piece of kit I, w I wouldn't have thought it, it, it'd be so transformative I mean it looks a bit janky and it feels a bit janky I mean, it's all 3D printed with a with a rubber dome or a rubber spindle in the middle. That, um, but just a tiny bit of centering force really, really improve. Oh fuck! Clip there. Doesn't matter. That's the in lap. Uh, just a tiny bit of centering force um, makes controlling it much more precise. Also. Uh, now in the middle of the video, which I guess is great for you. Um, two top tips when you're flying is one, never throttle down. Always use the air brakes because the engines take a, l a long time to throttle back up. And uh, if you're already an afterburner, no need to for the uh, to wait for the engines to spool up again. Hey, there we can see my ghost. Being a bit quicker through here than me. Right now, gaining on it though. And another another top tip. Wait, what was the second tip? One was never never throttle down, always use the air brake. And the second one. Oh, and the second one is use the thumb rudder. Because the rubber, uh, the rudder, the rubber, yeah, the rudder, basically just unsettles your car, uh, your your plane, and you're better off not using it at all. I'm I'm not using the rubber the rudder. Ah oh, fuck! They almost panicked through here. 
Also, some people complained about the the first video with the very first begin. Uh, no, no, it wasn't the very first beginner track. It was Moonbase, looking a bit slow. That's because Moonbase has quite a lot of room, as opposed to this. This one is a really tight track, and I feel like we're doing pretty good. I was a bit too conservative on the brakes here. It might not be personal best. Depending on uh, if I manage to get this final S bend down. Okay, go outside and pull it in. Might have been too quick. No, no, not too quick. Oh, that was that felt good. That felt good. What time do I need to beat? 2:05. I need to beat. I might need. I might beat this quite comfortably. And 2:04. Yay! Better. New personal record. And on that. See you and good night. Wait a sec. Didn't my ghost say Ole instead of call? Where were it? It really did! Ole!